Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about the recent RetroBit announcement. For those of you who don't know, RetroBit is a company that makes retro game consoles such as the RetroDuel and the Re Supro Retrocade, both of which I really enjoyed. Well, last month they announced a partnership with Sega to, quote, produce accessories for Sega's gaming platforms, including but not limited to the Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn, and Sega Dreamcast. With retro gaming on upswing, we are pleased to offer officially li Sega licensed accessories in their original format, as well as apply the innovative classic gaming enhancements that have become the hallmark of RetroBit. We're excited to unveil the first of these new products and concepts at CES, and to do so alongside an exciting 2018 product catalog. Now, this is supposed to happen at the Consumer Electronics Show, which happens this week. I'm excited what kind of announcements could come out of CES 2018. Now, RGT85 already did a pretty good video on this, and he speculated we could see Sega retro consoles, such as a Dreamcast console or a Saturn one, both being possibilities that excite me. But I decided to go one step further and talk about the specific games I would like to see on a Dreamcast retro console. You've got your obvious choices, the Sonic Adventures, Resident Evil Code Veronica, Power Stone, Marvel vs. Capcom, damn, Capcom did a lot of great games for the Dreamcast. Skies of Arcadia is another one that absolutely has to be included. And Shinmu, of course. There's a pretty vocal community on Twitter working to get a re-release of that classic. I personally would love to see it happen before the release of Shinmu 3 because don't remember what all exactly happens in Shinmu and Shinmu 2. But there are lesser known Dreamcast games I'd like to see on there. One obscure title I enjoyed back in the day was Armada. It was a top-down shooter with RPG elements. You flew around the galaxy fighting aliens and you could upgrade your ship. And did I mention it had four players? Aw, oh, yeah. Another great game was Gundam Side Story 0079, Rise from the Ashes. I played a few Gundam games in my time, and most have been third-person games. 0079 was different because it played out from a first-person perspective, making you feel like a real mobile suit pilot. In short, it was awesome. Next up is a game I never played but was always curious about. It was Rin Hero No. 1. From what I understand, you have a superhero suit, but you have to work odd jobs to maintain it. Sounds fun to me. Quake 3 Arena was another one I enjoyed. It was one of the first games I ever took online for Deathmatch. You ran around blowing away other people. What more do you need? The next two games are really unlikely to be in a retro Dreamcast console, but it would still be epic. I'm talking about the Fantasy Star Online games. I fell in love with Fantasy Star Online when I first played it. The world was bright and colorful, and the phenomenal music just knocked it out of the park. I loved making my character and going through the planet Regal, killing everything in my path with other people. I'm not holding my breath, though. Yeah, I wouldn't call it obscure, but I think online play on a Dreamcast retro console is unlikely. Still, it would be awesome. Last game I want to touch on is Virtual On or Atario Tingram. I quite possibly just butchered that name, but nevertheless, it remains a good Dreamcast game. The controls take some getting used to, but once you do, you have a lot of fun. There are. These are just some of my favorites. I know I left out a ton of games. Which ones would you like to see included? Leave a comment below and subscribe so you'll never be rid of me. Take care, guys. Good night.